Bruchem Aboim. Thank you very much for coming. Tonight, again, we're still on the Gematria series, and we are up to the number 31. Um, 31, the word lo, Laman Aleph, uh, which means there is not, has a numerical value of 31, which depicts a state of non existence. Its diametric opposite is contained within the word yesh, yud shin, and there is, which has a numerical value of 310, which depicts a state of existence. There's a reason why when God gave over the Torah to Moshe Rabbeinu, Moses our teacher, that not only did he dictate the words to him, like a court stenographer, but he also showed Moshe the words with black fire on white fire. Now the synonym of the word lo, spelled Lamed Aleph, is lo, spelled Lamed Vav, which means to him. In the Ten Commandments, we are commanded lo, tirzach, do not commit murder, lo sinof, do not commit adultery, lo signof, do not steal. If Moshe Beno had not seen the word spelled Lamed Aleph, which means not to kill, not to commit adultery, and not to steal, he may well have thought that it should be spelled, written with a Lamed Vav, which means that for him, for God Almighty, one should kill. For God, one should commit adultery, or that one should steal. It may be the way that the Arabs, the Muslims, translate actually this idea. So we can readily understand why it was important, a necessity for Moshe, to not only hear what God was commanding the Jewish nation, but also to see what he was being commanded. Yoshia, a righteous king of Israel, ruled for 31 years from the age of 8 years old on. Rivka, Yitzchak's wife, is mentioned 31 times in the Torah, more than any other woman. In Mishle, in Proverbs chapter 31, it contains the famous song that we say, it's called Ashes Chayel, a woman of valor which we sing every Friday night at the Shabbos table after we sing Shalom Aleichem, when we greet the angels that come with us on the way back from the synagogue. When God commanded Yoshua ben Nun to lead the children of Israel into the land of Canaan after their 40 years in the desert, the nation was told that they should defeat the 31 kings that resided in the land. During the period of the judges, the king of Canaan launched a counteroffensive led by his general Sisera, as it says in Shoftim, from chapter 4, verse number 2, to chapter 5, verse 31, to reconquer the holy land that had been seized by Yoshua. Sisera's army was made up of the 31 kings, which paralleled the original 31 kings who had been defeated by Yoshua. Now, as mentioned above, the word yesh, there is is the diametric opposite of the word lo, not, not to have. The word yesh has a numerical value of 310. And the last mission in the tractate of Uxen states that God Almighty will give each sadik, each righteous individual, as a reward for his good deeds in this world, 310 worlds. So if a person is to say lo, no to the prohibitions of this world, then he will merit to receive yesh, yesh, 310 worlds as his reward. Now the precise placement of the words within the name Yisroel, Israel, is also highly significant. In Kohelis, Ecclesiastics, chapter 10, verse number 2, it states, the heart of the wise is to the right, and the heart of the fool is to the left. To the left symbolizes what we call the Eight Sahara, the evil inclination is Aleph Lamed, all, al, and by following one's evil inclination, man is and has nothing real. But if he connects himself with the Yesh on the right side, which represents the Yetzir Tov, the good inclination, then he is someone and a something, and will rightly inherit all the good that exists in the world of truth. The Rash in the middle, is an allusion to that fact. In fact, the gematria of the letter Resh is 200, which is the same the gematria as the words 
Hakesev Behazov. Silver and gold. Again, true riches. Now, one of God's special names is Kale. I'm saying it's spelled Aleph Lamed, but we pronounce it with a Kuf, again, so as not to use his name in vain. The special name of God alludes to God's kindness. It's interesting to note that the name of God is severity, Elohim, begins with Aleph Lamed, kindness, and then ends with the next three letters in severity. This is an allusion to the fact that evil has the ability to change God's attribute of kindness into severity. As an aside, the same is true of the God's inevitable name of the Yud Kevavke. The first two letters, Yud and the He, Ka, are really s severe, tough, and the Vav and the He changes it into something that's merciful. Again, we see that we have the ability, even midstream, to change God's toughness into, into kindness and goodness, and the opposite as well. With the help of God Almighty, may we always be able to connect to his kindness. May we always be able to connect to the yesh, the positive, and have the strength to overcome the negative, the low. And with that, help to usher in the period of total and complete redemption with the coming of Mashiach Sikenu quickly and in our time. Thank you very much for coming. God bless and Shabbat Shalom.